This is actually an aerial photograph of a section of Port Hedland in 1960. This is that same, just a slightly different perspective, that same area that was taken in 2009. So you can see massive changes there. Council's vision, as it was said before by Andrew, is that by 2025, will be Pilbara's port city. We'll have a population of at least 40,000 people, a nationally significant, family-friendly city, which is safe and has that distinct, friendly, relaxed Port Hedland feel. That being said, none of what's been achieved today would have been, would have been possible without partnerships. Partnerships are so important. For a considerable time, the town of Port Hedland has had good industry and business partnerships in place. This approach has enabled the town, industry and business to kick a number of much needed goals for the community. For the town of Port Hedland, the Pilbara Cities Program and Royalties for Regions has added to our already developed partnerships, enabling important leveraging of funding that has enabled us to step up a level. Instead of just playing footy ovals, we're now working on recreation precincts. Also, instead of just small neighbourhood parks, we're able to look at regionally significant parks, like our very own Kings Park of the North. And finally, this is our JD Hardy Youth Precinct refurbishment that's just been recently completed. And these are just a, but a few of the examples that can show you what can be achieved with leveraging and partnerships. We found at the town of Port Hedland that it's essential that council, industry and business long-term plan together. This enables everyone to work together from the same song sheet and be coordinated, particularly when it comes to requests to state and federal government. I'd just like to emphasise that together, community, industry and business, we can create history. Thank you.